Hi Hi. everyone, (laughs) it's Ariel from Keys of My Life and we're back with part 5 of our Disney College Program series. So today we're going to be talking about what to have on check-in day. There are a couple things you absolutely have to have or you're going to basically screw yourself over. Uh, (laughs) So we're going to be talking about what to have and a little bit of what to expect um, based on what our experiences were from the Disneyland program. So let's get started. So the biggest things you need, one of the most important things you need is you need your I-9 document. So these are the documents Disney uses to verify your authorization to work in the U.S. You have a couple of different options for this. If you have a passport, just bring your passport um, because it works for both, um, I I believe it's identification and then citizenship. Um, It covers both. So if you have a passport, just bring that. Um, Disney loves that. If you don't, your options are a couple different things. You need to bring your ID. That will use that for the identification portion. As far as the citizenship portion, your two big options are going to be either your social security card or your birth certificate. Um, Most people bring their social security card. If you choose to do that, keep in mind that um, it's going to be floating around in your wallet. Um, And a lot of people don't recommend keeping that in your wallet. So just remember that if you do choose to do that, take it out and put it somewhere safe afterwards. If you choose to bring your birth certificate, it cannot be a copy. It has to be your legal birth certificate and it's an official copy. Um, So if you do not have an official copy, bring your social security card. Or if you have time, order a birth certificate and bring the official copy for that. Um, And those are just, um, they'll look those up and verify them. You'll get them right back, not a problem. The other big thing you need is your dorms paperwork. So if you pre-registered for housing, which most people have and should, if you want to avoid waiting the long line on check-in day, you will pre-register for housing. That's where you link up all of the roommates you've chosen, your housing preferences, which complex you want, how many rooms, etc. When you're done filling out dorms, it'll prompt you to print a very long document with all of your housing information. Um, Print that off, save that, there's a barcode on the first page, save all that and bring that on check-in day. After that, they will send you a separate email that will also say print all this stuff. It looks like the same barcode and I'm honestly not sure if it is. I printed both just to be safe, and I'm, I mean, we'll find out when we check in on the first if it is the same thing or two different barcodes. But just to be safe, it's better to print both of them so you do have them. You don't want to be missing something on check-in day, so keep that in mind. Um, another thing that's good to have is even though during your new high paperwork they have you fill out a direct deposit form, sometimes Disney is picky and still wants a blank check for the direct deposit, so it's always good to have a voided blank check on hand. If you don't have a checking account, I don't know how they do it with savings accounts. I don't think they need one. It's just a savings account. Um, But if you have a checking account and that's what you're using, it's always good to have a blank check on hand. So keep that in mind. That's, I believe that's optional. I don't think Disney requires that anymore, but I would bring it just to be safe. And then beyond that, honestly, just bring yourselves. Um, Make sure you're wearing something Disney look from the waist slash shoulders up because you will be getting your ID photo taken. If it's something that's not appropriate, they'll have you cover up, or um, your hairstyle, they'll have you... I don't know how they do with hair, but they require you... (laughs) Yeah. They require you to be in Disney look for that photo. I mean, you can wear whatever... Like, you can wear sweats on the bottom. A lot of people have done that, and that's fine. As long as you're in Disney look from um, waist or shoulders up, that's all they're asking. Um, When you check in, they will have a location for all of your luggage, um, so you can leave that there while you're dealing with all your check-in stuff. Then when you get your housing assignment... You can get all of your luggage picked up and you can take a, well, for Disney World, take a bus to your apartment since it is a little bit of a walk if you're walking. Um, and then move in all your stuff. So after, yeah, after checking, you'll get moving in all your stuff. If you have roommates, you'll meet the roommates. Um, after that, it really depends on your specific schedule. A lot of people have casting their first day, which is where you actually go and fill out all your information, find out where your location is, where you're going to be working. Because like for me, for example, I'm working merchandise, but I don't know what park I'm going to be in. I don't know if I'm going to be, you know, in Hollywood Studios at Tower of Terror or or in Wolf Store, or if I'm going to be at Magic Kingdom in Emporium. So that's something you'll find out at casting. So that's one of the best parts of the first day is finding out where you're working. That's part of the first week. Some people have casting that first day. Some don't have it till the next day. So schedules do vary. Um, sometimes, uh, well, I know for California, they have a housing meeting that first day with your floor, but with Disney World, because there's so many, they tend to spread the housing meetings out throughout the week. Um, so it may be later in the week for you. Some people have traditions the next day. Basically, you'll just get your schedule and kind of get acquainted to the area. 
Um, you will not have your blue pass till after conditions, so you can't sign yourself into the park for free. But there are other things you can do, like you can go to Disney Springs, which is the new downtown Disney, and check out stuff there. You can walk around and go resort hopping. Um, there's just lots of things to do, so use this time to get to know your new friends, get to know your roommates, spend time with your husband if you're me. <laughs> Um, just get, use the time to get used to Orlando, especially if you're not used to Florida. From what I've heard, it is very spread out and very big. Um, so it's a good time to just get used to where everything is, especially the bus system. Get used to the bus system. Just spend check-in day relaxing and getting ready to go. Um, but like I said, make sure you have all that stuff. If you don't have your I-9 documents, they will send you first thing on a bus the next morning to go getting your social security card and ID. Um, and that money comes out of your paycheck, your first paycheck. Um, so it's better just to have that stuff with you. I don't know what they do if you don't have your housing printed. Um, my guess is that you just have to wait no longer line because they have to look you up. Yeah. Um, so just have everything ready. It makes it faster for you. It makes it faster for them. It makes it faster for the people in line behind you. Um, yeah. So just have everything ready. But most of all, it's your check-in day. Have fun. Like you're working for Disney now. So just have fun with it. Oh, sure. Well, one, one last thing to have. Uh, for check-in day uh, is patience. <laughs> you you will be yes. there likely in a very very long line, but that's also a good thing because uh, if you're in the Disneyland, I don't know so much about the Disney World program, uh, Disneyland program. It was all outside, and it was hot. It, 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 <laughs> it was hot, but you know it was an introduction to good California weather. But, um, but also, there's a lot of talking that goes on, mm -hmm. a lot of making new friends. I saw a lot of people and started talking to them uh, that actually became good friends you know, later on in the program. We're still friends on Facebook and stuff. And actually, I, that's, a, that's the first time where I saw uh, this little lady right here. So, uh, I know where this is going. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Good, yeah, good so things happen Yeah, <laughs> take the time to just relax and, like you said, ha make friends. I mean, some of my first friends in the program were ones I made in check-in day online just because I talked to the person next to me. Um, but just to have fun. You know, it's your first day in a very long program for some people. A lot of people are going to get homesick. So have those connections ready just in case something like that happens. You want to have someone to spend time with, especially if it's not your roommate. Um, I can speak from experience. I had very big roommate problems the first time so be able to have friends that are outside of your room and yeah i know i sound like a record but just have fun you're here to have fun you are here to work but you're here to have fun have a magical time yeah <laughs> so um that's it for this week next week i am going to be posting our check-in day vlog of all of our adventures on check-in day well i can show you at least i don't know how much i can record but i will be posting that next week if you have any questions about check-in day or anything about the first week, please leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a like and go ahead and check out the rest of the videos in our series. If you want to see more, get that subscribe button. And we will see you guys in the next video. Have a magical day. Bye.